We've got two pieces of wood that have been thickness down, ready for marking out the body on. Uh, we're going to avoid any splits that are in the wood and look for good figure. So we can see here we've got a, a, bit, a split we want to avoid and a bit of discoloration at the edge here, so we want to try and avoid that. Um, forget the uh, template and put that over over here. We can see that in fact if we uh, put this on into about that position, we're avoiding the splits and we're just moving away from that, that there. If we then turn it over, so that will be the back and then the front will be oh, on here which is all nice and clean, there's no real splits there. So the front will be um, something like that. And then if we look at the other piece, which is a much nicer piece of wood, that's pretty clean on both sides, there's nothing there. If we switch that over, there's nothing there. There's a few little knots here, or <laughs> wormholes, we don't know. Um, so we're going to have that as the back, and we'll keep this as the front. And then I think we'll just place, so this will be the front, so we want the top front um, either way around really, but we're going to basically put it in around here and we're going to get all this nice grain in the body. So let's mark that up. I'm just going to roughly do this like this, because I'm, I'm going to do this again once it's all planed up and everything, but just so we know which bits are used in which. But the most important bit is this bit. This is the line we want to cut. It's as good as it gets. And then equally we want to cut a straight end over there on the bandsaw so that we can clamp nice and evenly. That's right, let's uh, get it cut out on the bandsaw. When you haven't got a, a nut jammed down by that rear bottom guide, you get a much quicker cut, cleaner cut, it's a lot quieter and it's not burning. So you've got splits at the end there, but by the time we get to the body, we're okay. A bit of woodworm, I suppose. We've now got to get these edges square and straight because these are going to glue onto the neck pieces uh, so we don't want to have any irregularities. If you've got a very large belt sander you could sand them up on a, a belt sander. Um, small belt sanders aren't really up to it because you'll get uh, unevenness throughout the length so I'm going to use a, a plane uh, with a, a guide on the edge and then for the final finish I'm going to sand it with some sticky sandpaper on my straight edge. Let's uh, just check that we're First of all, reasonably straight, and that is, I mean, it's really quite straight, that, very, very good. And then we've also got to check the squareness as well. Hopefully the, the sander will be, uh, the, the plane has done that, kept it square. Could do with a bigger fence, but you know, if you work carefully, you can get it nice and square like that. As simple as that. So I've got some sandpaper stuck to my straight edge, and I'm just going to run this over the edges of the body and on the neck just to really true up and square up and straighten up our edges ready for gluing. So the neck's been through the thicknesses so that's going to be very straight and square uh, but we're just going to braid it a little bit with the sandpaper so it's got a good key for the glue. So just check squareness, marvellous. Right, so I'm just, just putting the body onto the side of the neck and just to look that we have got a good true match along the full length of it. Um, so obviously any gaps there are going to need filling, which we don't want to do. So uh, it all looks very good to me. So uh, time to get the glue out. Let's wipe these down. Let's make sure they're clean from any dust. Same with this one. And I'm just going to apply some glue to the neck and then I'm going to clamp it in place so it doesn't move. This goes off quite quickly, so we uh, don't want to hang about too much. Make sure it's got a good coating over both sides that to be glued. Clamp this on here so it doesn't tip over. So we actually don't need to glue it all. We only need to glue where it's going to be in contact, which is from there up to about the bottom there. So put a nice bit in that split there. 
same again we only need to put the glue from about there okay i think we're ready to pop that into place so we're just going to line that up with our previous marks excuse me line that up with our marks here okay so i found okay make sure that lines up to there that looks right we've been close enough i'm going to clamp the middle first try and get that into the middle so it's not pulling on the wood at the bottom that covers the whole area okay we're just going to tighten that up a bit we're going to clamp right away to the end here so that we get a good leverage and really pull the wood into shape make sure you don't let go of this clamp otherwise it'll drop onto your fretboard until it's tightened up reasonably well so that's about it once we've got that finally clamped up we just clean this up with a damp cloth a few more twists on the clamp it doesn't have to be over tight it needs to be firm but not over tight you see we squeeze a little bit more glue out at these ends and that's it